Howdy folks, welcome back to Small Farm guys. Today we are going ahead and doing an oil change on our Kubota RTV 1100C. So we'll get you through the process of it. We already got the bed tipped here. And so then what we're going to do first step is I always like to take and loosen up the oil cap here. So that way when you dump the oil on the bottom it doesn't create a vacuum. It just will flow out freely. So I just loosen it up. And I'll pull the dipstick as well, just to create, just to open it up so it has easy flowability. And your dipstick is right down here. You see down there? Pull it, comes out. I just leave it in there, but out. So that way you can go ahead and it lets the air through the motor. Once we go ahead and get our oil plug open, the, uh, what you want to call it dipstick pulled out we've got bolts here and back there they're 12 millimeters so go ahead and take those out to remove these shields that are enormously in the way for doing an oil change I took out those bolts and here's your oil pan actually so you have to unfortunately due to engineers and their wonderful logic you have to remove both shields to be able to do this oil change why one wouldn't put a little hole is above everybody else so it's always nice to keep that third bolt in but go ahead and this the front shield or the back shield drops down the front shield you have to slide back because there's a little piece it slides into and then you get the joys of lining this back up when you put it back. Now that we got the joys of our dirt collection out of the way, you've got your oil filter right up there and your oil plug right there. So we're going to go ahead and we'll get the right wrench for the oil plug. We'll go ahead and pull the oil plug. All right, so this oil plug is a 14 millimeter. So go ahead and break that loose. Make sure you have your pan ready. All right, now that it's just, just a little bit of a drip, we're gonna go ahead and put the oil plug back in and then clean it up. Oh, and first you dump your oil, Drop it into the pan, that's always lovely. Now that we got the oil plug reinstalled here, let me get a light for you. Now we got the oil plug reinstalled, we're gonna go ahead and go up there and take off our oil filter, and then put the new one on. Little key, let me get a light real quick. If you wanna get your oil filter off the easy way, here. If you want to oil filter up easy way, you got to come through here. Two hands, but reach through and grab it. It works a lot easier. One thing to always check for, make sure your seal is still on there when you take it off. Otherwise, you got to make sure it's not on your machine. Because it does not work to double seal it. They will leak. Always good practice to put a little, little bit of oil around your O-ring there. You can see it's all shiny because we put some oil on there. Use clean oil, not the used oil. And then go ahead and we'll slip it back up in there and tighten her down. Now that you got the oil done down there, we're going to go ahead and get a funnel and dump the oil in here. Again, I still have the dipstick pulled just to let the air flow out. Make sure you get your funnel into the hole and don't miss the hole. And then just dump slowly. And we already have it measured out. It's just just shy of a full gallon of oil. Check your manual. But we have ours measured out. It's always good 
good to check your dipstick when you're done. And before I go ahead and put it all in, I do always double check just to make sure. Go ahead, dipstick in. Wipe it off. We're almost there. So now we gotta go ahead and start it and run the engine and check it after that to make sure once it fills up that fuel filter it will go down a little bit. Should be long enough. That oil filter. Wipe it off again. Check it, and we're right in the center, so we're good to go. All right. Once you go ahead and check everything, then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall your two guards there, which is the opposite process. You want to go ahead and put the first one in, the front one in first, and then the back one, and bolts it all down, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, you guys. That's a uh, new camera, so it's a learning curve, so it might not be the best video. One person, new cameras, this doesn't always end well, but thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.